What's up guys? Welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved video. And in today's video, it is day 7 of our Ark Admin Raid Base series. And with today's video, I've listened to a lot of people in the Discord, a lot of people on the server. And today we made a nightmare raid base. It was a fucking nightmare! Everybody wanted a really hard raid base. Wanted to see what we had to offer as one of the toughest raid bases. Well, you're going to see it today. So without further ado, let's get this thing started. And let's show off this admin raid base. It's going to be over on Lost Island. 52.1, 68.1 is going to be the cords to get here as we start peeking around the corner. Let's get a full aerial of this thing. So just looking at the aerial view of it, as you can see, the towers are pretty close together. They're not too close together, but they're close enough together to really be a problem. That if you hit one, you're going to have to hit another. The velos are all weighed down, so they're not going to be running off. They can move around in circles on there and do a full 360, but they will not run off of the platforms or that they are standing on, which are the ceilings in this case. So, as you see, here is all of the velo towers. Let's look down in between the velo towers. You're going to see things like Aranios, Reaper Kings, Aberrant Perlovias, Basilisks. I'm a snag. I'm a snag. What else we got down here? More Aranios, Bloodstalkers, the whole shebang when it comes to toxic tames that you've got to go up against. I've got a lot of tribes in the server currently that are going to do everything they can to hit this thing because here's the fun fact. Once we get inside and I show you the loop that's going to be on the inside of it. If they knock this thing down and get the loot within 48 hours, I will double the loot that they get out of the inside of it for everybody that hit it. Just split evenly. Give me a hell yeah! 48 hours for a chance to double the loot. Now, there is tribes that's going to be wanting people to help them. By all means, take this out. So if you want to come in and join the server, you see the name on the screen. you got to be on Xbox One or Windows 10. Make sure you're on unofficial PC sessions. Make sure you're under all modes, and you need to type in who's alpha, one word, no spaces, W-H-O apostrophe S-A-L-P-H-A, and you will see all of, all 11 of our maps that are clustered together pop up. You get three starters. All you have to do is come into our Discord and join uh, the Discord, make a ticket, verify through double counter, and just say, hey, I'd like to get my three starters. We have a starter section in there with a list of the three you can choose from. You get one land, one flyer, and one water tame. Let's take a look at the actual base itself. So as you can see from the top down, it's got turrets, you know, everywhere. Pretty symmetrical, too. If you ask me, I think it's fully symmetrical. There may be a little, you know, turret here or there that's off just by a little bit, but other than that, pretty symmetrical. We got this thing up pretty quickly. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Um, just got to go in before I start the actual raid, put those plant species seeds in, which I will absolutely do that after I get done recording the video. But as soon as I get the plant species seeds in there, uh, it's the fast seed, so they'll grow quickly. There will also be plant species, uh, I think eight total plots. So just as you can see, everything is slot capped. There is nothing here that is not fully slot capped. Here's for the kicker, this whole row all the way around, survivors only. All the way around this whole row. As you can see every other turret, only survivors are tame creatures. This row, survivors only. So there's two rows, survivors only. The base is fully vault drop, double vault drop, all the way around. There you can see the door, and you wouldn't believe this, but this is all built off of a one by one. It is double walled, double doored, double ceiling. Got an interior in there, everybody loves interiors. That thing's slot cap. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna try to go up the ladder if I can. There we go. Loot room. There you see the loot. 50,000 berry bush seeds. That's equivalent to 25 USD in my shop. 180,000 element. Well, technically 180,025 element. That's 
equal to 50 USD in shop. There you see a Deddy of Shards. These are double Deddies of ARB. And that is a 500k ARB. Pretty close to 500k. Rockets, detonators, tech grenades, ambergris. Don't ask about the ambergris. I just had it on me. Might as well throw it in there is what it said. <laughs> Meat, kibbles, you know what I mean? Like mutton, good shit. And now for the best part. Fully imprinted. 100% imprinted. Rock golems. You can get these in the shop. We will imprint golems you've already tamed. You do have to pay a certain amount of seeds in the shop to do that. Very bush seeds. But it is a possibility to get in the shop. Same thing with basilisks. These are fully imprinted. Let's go over to the griffins. The same thing. Fully imprinted. And if you want to see any of these actual stats, you can always just pause the video at any point while I'm hovering over them. The zombie uh, wyverns are not imprinted because they come in at 380 wild with the taming boost up to 585. 574 mechs come in at 383 wild with the tame limit jumps them up to 574. Reapers are fully imprinted. Another thing that you can get in shop. Fenrirs are fully imprinted. Another dino you can get in shop. And then all these blood stalkers are just regular 225s. Non imprinted. Uh, you can breed them, do whatever you want with them. And some empty cryos. And that's going to do it for the loot section down here. Now, this whole thing's being run off of one generator that's double walled, uh, about quadruple sealant, and double doored. You know how we do it. That's how we do it on the on the nightmare raid bases. Let's get back out of there real quick. Above that, I'll demolish it and rebuild it real quick so I can show you for the video purposes. There's the bubble. So the bubble you've seen. Let's keep those there. Make sure I, oops, went too fast. There is interiors. I know some people's like, oh, you put interiors, what a dick. It is a nightmare raid base, you know, so we had to had to have some interiors up in here. At least I didn't put tech in here as well. And there you see another ceiling with a ceiling above it and a pillar in between just for that extra splash damage to make you do that much more. So there is the inside of the raid base. I hope you guys like this build. We are going to do this build in the future step by step to show you all the resources you're going to need to build it and step by step how to build it from the ground up. I am going to do a couple slow-mos real quick. Just trying to, or kind of going around so you can enjoy everything and see uh, how everything's built. Again, you're not going to really be able to come down easily from the top because you got to deal with all those vaults and the turrets up there, like I said, are also uh, that second row on survivors only. So like I said, everything about this base is fully symmetrical. Uh, it is one of my favorite bases to build. I know I haven't done like any impressive base build videos since the uh, best art base build video 2020 part one. I'll link that down in the description and the, the video as well. So that way you guys can go and see that base build. But uh, if you ask me in my opinion, I think once you see the step-by-step -step base build of this one, you'll, you'll love it a, a bunch more. Now the uh, spam we just randomly did, me and my admins, this was all done by myself. Uh, Plaz Accurate, he's over on Twitch and Speedy, my other admin uh, uh, in the game server, in the art server. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're going to enjoy some of the recordings in the future of the players that raid this. I'll clip of it as much of it as I can and show you guys in a video in the future what, once they go to hitting it. But uh, I tell you what, if you haven't yet, we're not going to stop here. We're going to continuously keep putting raid bases in for the series. This is a day seven, so like, hey, let's go and finish the first week with a bang. Starting tomorrow, we'll probably go back to an easier raid base, probably a few of them, and do a couple of easy raid bases in one video. But like I have promised in the past, we are going to do an admin raid base every single day. If we're not posting it every day, we're working on it every day. 
So this one, uh, a little bit over the 24 hour mark since the last one, but it's only because this one was so much more to put that, like to put into the game and so much more to build. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy playing in the server. Hope you stay awesome, stay amazing, and I'll catch you next video.